Hello, listeners. This is the reading of the Sabbath School lesson for the fourth and final quarter of 2022. The series is titled On Death, Dying and the Future Hope. The author is Dr. Alberto Tim, while your readers are Percy and Sibylla Harold. Welcome to lesson number nine, titled Contrary Passages. It's ready for teaching on November 26, and I'm Percy Harold. Tuesday, November 22. To depart and be with Christ. Read Philippians chapter 1, verses 21 to 24, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. When did Paul expect to be with Christ? as he said in Philippians 1.23, and with the Lord in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17. Philippians 1, beginning at verse 21, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit from my labour. Yet what I shall choose I cannot tell, for I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. And First Thessalonians 4, beginning at verse 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Paul was driven with the passion to live in Christ now, as we read in 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And with Christ, after his second coming, as we just read in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 17. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. For the Apostle, not even death could break the assurance of belonging to his Saviour and Lord. And he said in the epistle to the Romans, Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, in Romans 8, verses 38 and 39. For if we live, we read in Romans 14, 8, if, for if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. With this certainty in mind, Paul spoke of the believers who already had died as those who sleep in Jesus. In verse 14 of 1 Thessalonians 4, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus, and who will be raised at Christ's second coming to receive eternal life. Now we read that in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 16 to 18. And that reads, For if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. And 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. Let's read that again. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. 
For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. When Paul mentioned his desire to depart and be with Christ in Philippians 1 verse 23, For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better, Did he imply that after death his soul would depart to live consciously with Christ? Not at all. In this text, as we read in the Andrews Study Bible, page 1555, in the note on Philippians 1.23, Paul verbalises his desire to leave this present troubled existence and be with Christ, without reference to any lapse of time that may occur between the two events. This verse does not teach that Paul expected to go to heaven at death. He was very clear that he would not receive his reward until the second coming, as we read in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. End of quote. In short, Paul is saying that the next thing he would know after departing death would be Christ coming in the clouds of heaven to raise the dead when he would be with the Lord, as we read in 1 Thessalonians 4.17. It also should be noted that the Bible writers at times refer to two events together that may be separated by a long period of time. And that concludes the quote from the Andrew Study Bible, page 1555. But why would Paul prefer to die than to live? Because then he could finally rest from all his troubles, without needing any longer to suffer pain in his body. As we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 27. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. And he would do so with the full certainty that he would receive the crown of righteousness at the second coming, as expressed in 2 Timothy 4, verses 6 to 8. And that reads, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Though Paul certainly didn't want to die, he knew what would follow when he did. And so to finish today, Particularly in hard times, who hasn't thought about how nice it would be to close your eyes in death and the next thing you know, be with Christ? How does this thought help us understand what Paul was saying in Philippians? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.